Hey guys, it's really early in the morning and I just woke up and I did not get much sleep last night. So I know I look a little rough and um, I'm also dealing with a lot of allergies. So I'm really congested. Uh, I'm gonna take my allergy medication in a few minutes and then I'll take a shower later and hopefully it will clear all this up. Um, so I got a call yesterday about coming in for a job interview and um, it's actually to be a school nurse at my youngest child's elementary school. And I think it's a great opportunity, so I really want to impress. And I have not done my hair in a while. You can see my roots are, you know, my roots are growing out and um, I haven't touched my hair up in a while. So you can see I have a lot of root grow out um, and I haven't done my hair in um, a long time. This right here on the ends is kind of like a lavender and that's just from, um, I did like a toning shampoo on my hair about a week ago and it, cause my hair was really like yellow brassy and it definitely made everything more ashy but the ends took a lot of the um, purple color on and that's fine but I want a more conservative look for the school. I don't want to come in with hair that looks even slightly wild. So I'm going to be bleaching it with my Schwarzkopf Blonde Me that I always use. The best. It's so good. Um, if you bleach your hair regularly, I highly recommend this. It's only 20 volume. Um, I know a lot of people think they need 30 or 40, but this gets your hair so light. And it's really like... Um, what's the word, not as damaging, I feel like, as other bleach. So, um, and then I'm gonna go with box hair dye. It's just easier for me. And you can see it's a very neutral blonde. Um, and that's what I want. I want normal blonde. I don't want any, you know, I don't want pale. I don't want ashy. I have a ton of other colors. I have, you know, like lots of toners. I have pinks, I have purples, I have um, silvers, grays. But I don't want any of that because, like I said, I want to be totally neutral. So I'm going with this Garnier Champagne Fizz number 82. Um, and it's just like a neutral blonde. So we'll see how that looks. I am so congested. All right, so I'm going to mix up my bleach. And I have my little bowl and my brush. And I try to get it all applied in 15 minutes. I literally, I know I see a lot of people on videos that are like, do, 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 and then they do, 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 do. I literally slap it all on and like, as if I'm shampooing my hair, mix it all in there, cover it with a plastic grocery bag, and then I wait for 45 minutes so that it's on for a total of one hour. Now, what does that do? It damages the ends, of course, but my hair is so short and I get it cut so frequently that it literally doesn't even, and this bleach isn't that damaging either. So, I mean, it really doesn't make a difference and it's so much faster and way easier for me than trying to separate and just put on the root portion. That's just what I do though. So I'm gonna mix this up, put it all over my head, put my bag on, wait 45 minutes and then I will wash it out and show you guys what it looks like. It'll of course be like a bright banana yellow, um, but I'll be back. All right guys, bleach is all applied. Here's how it looks. Took me about 15, 20 minutes to put it on. I'm gonna go wrap it in a um, bag and uh, wait 45 minutes, wash it out. I'll show you what it looks like. I'll be back. All right, guys, I just washed out the bleach, um, towel dried my hair. This is what I am left with. Looks good to me. It's all nice and yellow. So now I will be putting on the Garnier A and um, let that sit for about half an hour and then I'll wash it out and I will show you guys how it looks. I'll be back. Hey everyone, so I'm back and I washed out the champagne colored Garnier 
hair coloring and um, put a little bit of um, the styling paste that I really like in my hair and that's it so a couple things I'm really surprised how light it's actually turned out um, I will definitely buy that hair coloring again because I love it it's I like box dye because it's so easy it, just, it comes with a little application bottle you just pour the coloring tube right into the developer shake it up put it on it's so easy um, no like measuring and mixing up in a bowl and all that so um, I love this color it's like super pale beige blonde and I do have a little bit of like you can see the darker um, like undertones here um, let me show you the back So, um, all together, I really like it. I think it looks pretty good. I wanted it to be a little bit darker. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I wanted it to be completely neutral, normal blonde. This is a little too light and ashy for me, but I still think it looks good. I don't think it looks wild or anything. Um, I have my cute little vest on and just a little long sleeve black and white top and some black pants. Um, I tried on a couple different outfits and I can't find anything that I feel good in. Um, I just like there's just nothing that I like. I mean, it's a school nurse job and so I want to be casual. So I don't want to walk in there with like a black suit. It's, you know, end of June and that school, my kids go there and so I know it's not air conditioned. Um, we're in Massachusetts. A lot of places aren't air conditioned indoors. Uh, so I know it's hot in the school and I just feel strange walking in there when I know these teachers, I know the principal, I know a lot of people there and they see me every, every day for years now. So to suddenly walk in there wearing dress clothes, like a dress or a skirt and blouse or a suit, I feel like it's trying too hard. Um, but if I go really casual, it's like I'm not, I'm not even trying. So I'm kind of doing a cross between, um, casual and, you know, nursing a little bit. Like this is my fleece, um, vest that I wear to the hospital and normally I wear a scrub top underneath. So instead of wearing a scrub top, I'm wearing black Cherokee scrub bottoms, white sneakers, and a long sleeve black top. So it's casual, still a little nursey, and probably something I would wear every day as a school nurse. Um, maybe not, you know, this vest because I've got my hospital logo on there, but, um, you know, something similar to this. So I'm wearing this because I'm showing them, you know, what I would look like if they gave me the job. So they're hiring, you know, a look along with a personality, I guess. Um, along with education and background and skills. So, fingers crossed. Um, I think that I will maybe do a video where I show um, some of the questions that they ask me um, in my interview. This is actually my second interview to be a school nurse. The first time I interviewed was two years ago when I was fresh out of nursing school and um, I don't know why they even called me in because pretty much from the get-go they said you don't have enough experience and then they proceeded to give me you know a half hour interview making me answer all of the questions like what would you do in an emergency so it was a little annoying because if you're not interested in me first of all you saw I just graduated nursing school you see I don't have any history of working as a nurse why call me in to interview and then say well, you don't have enough experience. It's just wasting everyone's time. But I took it as a learning experience because I actually gave a really poor interview. It, it wasn't great. And um, sometimes you just have off days where I went in there and it was an off day and everything was just, you know, like they'd say, what do you think about this? And I would feel like, I don't know. So I, I knew that, you know, they weren't going to give me the job and um, it was a bad interview, but I've learned from that 
So on this interview, I kind of have a couple of ideas of what they're going to ask me, some ideas of what I'm going to say, and I don't ever script anything out, but I definitely do like a monologue in my head of what I would say if I was asked a certain question. And then if I do get asked that in an interview, I just, you know, kind of go over what I practiced in my head um, and I wing it so that it looks natural, like I wasn't rehearsing, but I have been basically since they called me yesterday rehearsing and about what I'm gonna say. I don't even know if I want the job though. That's the thing is it's like, I make good money at the hospital. I know what I'm doing. I know everybody I work with, I'm comfortable. So thinking about switching um, to a different place, it's, it's hard for me. I'm not sure I would even take the job if they offered it to me, but the only way I'm gonna know, sorry, I'm just picking lint off my shirt. Um, the only way I'm gonna know if I want it is if I go in and I do an interview and then they, if they offer me the job and present me with a package of, you know, what I'll make, insurance and benefits and things like that, then I'll decide. But the first step is interview. So I, um, I will do a follow-up video uh, at a later time. But for now, highly recommend this Garnier uh, hair coloring in Champagne Blonde. All right, bye.